What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Scott. Welcome to the Scott Reports. Today, I'm bringing you a live reaction. That's right, a live reaction to Shingeki no Bahamut, episode 24, Virgin Soul, a.k.a. Rage of Bahamut, Virgin Soul, episode 24. I know I didn't get a chance to catch back up for you guys last week after everything that went down, but I am doing a live reaction this week because a longtime subscriber of mine, a good friend of mine, just hit me up. was like, Scott, you absolutely have to live react to this episode. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. Live react to it. And here I am. I'm live reacting to it right now. And shameless plug, um, actually, live reacting is part of my Patreon reward. So if it's a series that you guys would like to see me live react to, go ahead and check out the Patreon link that is in the description. I will live react to a series of your choosing. Try to keep it between 24 episodes. And no, I'm not doing Boku no Pico and I'm not doing Gintama because I'm not live reacting to 300 episodes. But that's besides the point. Shout out to my friend Jess um, who suggested that I live react to this episode. And I cannot wait because last week had me on the edge of my seat because Bahamut is back. Bahamut is back. So that means we might possibly see Elmira this episode because... They're trying their best to redeem Cheerios, and I think it's a little bit too late. By him saying that green power that he was um, carrying around was actually part of Bahamut. And this entire time, he even wanted to destroy Bahamut because the thing that happened 10 years ago killed his mother. And this is going to bring up a lot of things, especially with Favaro, because we know how he felt about Almira. And to know that Bahamut wasn't killed, remember, Bahamut was sealed away. And that was because Almira decided to sacrifice herself in order to do that. So we can possibly see her again. We got the angels and demons coming together. We got John the Ark and Az Azazel working together to take down Cheerios. You know, Kaiser tried to step in. It was like, look, Aslan was the person that killed um, El. So, you know, blame me. Stop this war. John's like, no, screw that. We're going in. Let's just get to the episode. I've bared off the course a little bit too much. Um, I do to need, need to say this for people who might be just seeing my live reactions for the first time. There's no audio. There's no video. But there will be a timer at the bottom of the screen so you can keep up with where I am on the episode. That's just the way it is. Everybody knows that YouTube is crap right now. And I am not going to get a copyright strike again on my channel trying to provide the episode. There's so much technology out here right now. You can either open up a second screen. You Use your phone something, but it won't be any video here. I do apologize for that, but that's just the way it is. Time will be at the bottom of the screen. We're getting ready to get it in. And I haven't live reacted to an episode in the second half, so we get to rock out to that opening. So we're going to go ahead and get it in in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Start though. Alright, so John's already in the castle. She's already not fucking around. Man, they caused a lot of destruction too. Damn, look at that. Head to the king. I love the animation in this series as well. I mean, it just looks so great. MAPPA really has put their foot into this series. It just fits the fantasy world that it's in perfectly, especially when they show the gods and demons. Okay, the Onyx soldiers are actually fighting back a little bit now. Taking out demons and angels. Damn, they got giants out here wrecking ships. It's not as easy as a battle as she thought it would be. And here come a ship with more goons and dragons. And what the hell is that? Yo, that's the demons coming through in their own ship. That's what's up. Lucifer! Lucifer coming in like a boss. We didn't see him last week. Hey, 
Angel John York is so badass too. And now Zazel's going to the scene too. Yo, Demon Slash! Damn. This episode is going in. This episode is going all the way in. Yo, look at John with the destruction. I, I need like a figure of her. I need like a statue or something of that. That is beastly. Can we get a St. John the Ark statue, please? There's the leader of the Onyx Knights. That's about to be the battle. Her versus John. Let's go. Let's go for this opening. You're the same and lose themselves. The roads to go and the path suddenly seems rougher. I know some of it's Japanese. I'm just going to do the English parts. Walk straight ahead, knock down another dream. Here come my favorite part, though. But walk this way and get out of my way. Not on the way you think it. Me right close at Subo. But walk this way. Get out of my way. That's a nice thing. Kaiser running to the scene. Oh, he's still trying to take out demons too. And look at Kaiser fighting for the rights of everyone. Kaiser for King. I've been saying that all season. Yo, he's taking these guys out like they're light work. Oh, you about to take on Aslan? Aslan? I don't even know what his name is. I don't care. It's Aslan. Until he's dead. Surprised they ain't let Azazel or John take care of this guy. And Kaiser, like, I warned you. Run, you scum. Fucking scumbag, it was you. It's all your fault. All this is your fault. If you wouldn't have killed L because you tried to be an Onyx Knight, we wouldn't be in the predicament that we're in. I hope you die slow. Punk ass. I know Diaz isn't going to kill him. Don't let him all scot-free, though. Uh, 
Man, I see your sword, but you're not going to do anything. He's too noble of a man. He killed him because he wanted to be an Onyx Knight. That's the only reason. He found out he had to give his life to be one, then he was cool on it. Now you want to grovel. Don't feel sorry for this man, no! You fucking scumbag! You piece of shit! Kill him! Kill him with whatever you have left! Shit, what was that? Run, Kaiser, run! Yo, demon angel fusion blast! Let's go! This scumbag, he's not regretful. You know what he's doing. You feel sorry for him too. Take his head off now. Oh, he caught the knife. Okay. Okay. Now kill him because he tried to kill you. Do not let this man live. Kill him, Diaz. Kill him. Yes, run him through. Please, please run him through. Go what are you waiting for? Do it! Don't, 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 don't grovel! Don't run now! You tried to, you tried to sucker punch this man with a knife. Face your death like a man. I don't know. Diaz is enraged right now. You might do it. Oh, yo, oh, it's a little demon kid. Do not kill the kid, you piece of shit. Don't do it. No. He's going to kill this kid just because. He's probably about to snap his neck. Yes. Yes. Yes, little demon boy. You are the MVP right now for stabbing this piece of shit. I don't care who did it. I just said I wanted him dead. You didn't even get killed on a battlefield. You got killed by a demon. A kid demon. Oh, he's not dead yet? Come on. Can someone please kill this man? And if you let him go again, Diaz, you're stupid. Fool me once. But like I said, he's too noble of a man. He's not going to kill him. Even if he did try to stab him while he was not guarded, you're still probably going to let him live. I know that bond is strong, but this man started this war. Well, of course you don't want to die. Oh, he's dead. Yes, thank you. That is not redeem L being dead, but the fact that he got his just desserts is good enough for me. Okay, I mean, yeah, you can feel a little bit of regret for your boy. I mean, y'all was thick as thieves, but... Nah, you gotta go, bro. You killed a little kid. I don't care if he was a holy child. You scumbag. You don't even get a rest in peace from me. Justice has been served.
man, poor L. Was Reed about to go out there? Oh, shit. I'm really am considering cosplaying as Favaro for the next convention I go to next year. It's between Favaro and Joker from Persona 5. But I really want to do Favaro. I found the costume already. I just got to pull the trigger on it. But it's not going to be like this time next year, so I still got time to think about it. And Dina, you know, she redeemed herself a little bit last week. She was going in, but then she just... Fell for Cheerios once again. And Nina's still, you know, one of my favorite characters, especially female characters of the year. But she got some redeeming to do. Hopefully, we'll get to see her in a knockdown drag out fight against Bahamut because it is out there causing havoc right now. But I don't think she's that strong. Goons everywhere, man. And Lucifer is just not worried about his ship going down right now. He's still reading his book like, ha Damn. I'm sure Azazel's okay, but that was a big blast. Nice save by John. She is going in. <laughs> this guy had to take his helmet up to cough. Sure, I'm coughing up blood, fighting to his last breath right now. All right, so Cheerios is taking the field. This man's battle ready, too. But he has to have some type of ability, or he's going to have to channel into some type of power. I mean, it's really nothing he can do against Azazel and John right now. Not as a regular human. We got the Assassin's Creed Black Flag ship battle going on. I guess because there's so much going on right now, this is probably the only time we've seen a dip in in animation quality with this series, but it's still blowing a lot of things away that has like crappy animation like this on a regular. And the animation is even crappy, as just can tell it's just not as crisp as it usually is. Yo! We got the Knights versus John and Azazel. Cheerios is waiting on the victor. This captain of the Knights, he... He's on his last leg. This is going to be his last stance. How's Kaiser going to get over there? No, he's going to swim? You going to be that manly about it? <laughs> oh, there's Rita. Rita's like, bro, you really think you're going to swim across there? Let me control these goons.
Yo, demon army, let's get it. Undead army. Zombie goons. Yes, ride on the wave of goons, Kaiser. Rita with the play of the game once again. We, she really did deserve more time. And the few times that she showed up has always been great. My boy Kaiser just straight up on a goon wave right now, going across. No, keep her away from Cheerios, please. Don't try to talk him out of this. He is on a mission right now. He doesn't care about your relationship. Oh, no, they keep trapping Azazel. Oh, they got him cornered. Oh, they can't hold it anymore. They're passing out. Well, that's all the opening he need. Come on, Azazel. Yes, take his arm off. Finish him off. Do it now. He's done anyway. This guy's about to go. Of course they're going to fight to their last breath. It's like they're trying to attack and they're just passing out. That stone took too much of their energy. You're still charging though. He's charging like a beast. Oh shit. He killed himself? Oh, he just missed her. Shit. That was close. John was almost out of there. He just missed her neck. All right, Cheerios, what you got? Take it on both at the same time, though. Okay, Cheerios. But remember, it's, it's consuming him, too. How much longer does he have before it starts to take him over? No, don't. Don't cheer for this man. Do not grieve for this man, Nina. Let him go. Kaiser, what are you doing? Why are you... No. What are you doing, Kaiser. Oh shit! No! 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 Cancer! No! Why did he do that? Why did he jump in the way? Oh, Rita, do something! Please! And Bahamut just took out the ship? What? Fuck!
No! Don't enter right here! No! It gotta be an end credit. It's gotta be some end credits. I'm gonna let this play through while I get my thoughts. Why would Kaiser do that? Why would he jump in front of Cheerios? He has no reason to stop them from killing Cheerios. I mean, I know he's trying to push for this coexistence, but he just gave his life. The only thing I can think about is that he wants, he wanted to be a martyr. He wanted to give his life so his battle can end, but that's not going to stop them. Now you got fucking Bahamu ready to kill everybody unless Almira's going to come out and seal it again and sacrifice herself again. And now Favaro's going to lose Almira again and yeah, kind of, I, I reanimate him. Do something, Rita, please. No, no, not Kaiser. No. Why would he do that? This episode, man, this... Definitely let me know what you thought. Wow. If Kaiser dies, we're not getting a continuation. Because he is straight up a main character. The fact that this is a fantasy series, there that means there's still hope for him. No, no end credits. We're just getting the finale. Run, Nina, run. Episode 24. Yikes, it's the final episode. Yo, we got five row for the Baba Soul this week. Yo, that episode was bananas. Man, I'm gonna go. Let me stop the timer because the episode's done. I can't believe we just lost Kaiser. No, 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 no. Somebody, Reed's gonna reanimate him. Somebody's gonna heal him or something. There's too many high powers there. Maybe John could do something. Because there was absolutely no reason for him to jump in and take that blow for Cheerios other than try to stop this war. He, he can't he can't be going. I'm I need some time after this, man. Very good episode. Glad I'm live reacting to it. I definitely will be back next week for my final thoughts on the series. Um because I plan on doing a video where I'm going to give my scores for everything for the fall season. I may still do that. It just may not be elaborate as I thought it would be because I'm running into a little bit of time constraints. But everything that I'm watching, either way, whether it be a jazzed up video or just me talking, you guys are going to know what I thought of everything of the summer season. But I got to be back for this finale now. Whether it be review or live reaction, it might be live. But I kind of want to do a review on it because the series is just too good, man. And I don't know what to think right now, so I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. So, guys, definitely let me know what you thought of this episode and this video in the comments below. If you liked the video, go ahead and drop it a like. And if you want to hear more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As there is not a shortage of content for you to indulge on on this channel. As I always say, you can ask me anywhere on YouTube right now, but you chose to listen to me. And I really appreciate that, so thanks for stopping by. And if you want to support the channel even more, be sure to check out my Patreon. And on that note, it's your boy Scott signing out. See you soon.